We start with the Nick Mullins revolution. It was televised. 260 and 3. A passer rating over 150. So good last night, his Twitter account was verified mid-game. Kyle Shanahan said, you never know until you see someone. That is incredible advice. That is incredible life advice. Take that, people, and have a good weekend. Uh, the six most exciting words in sports going forward, C.J. Beathard and Nick Mullins' QB controversy. Also, this was against the Raiders. Sarah, let me ask you this. Was Mullins that good, or was this the Raiders? I don't want to take anything away from him because you could put a, a bunch of guys and have their first NFL start not result in a 151.9 passer rating mm -hmm. in the kind of game he put together. Mm -hmm. That being said, he was only pressured on four of 22 dropbacks, and he only threw zero passes into tight windows, meaning that Raiders defense stinks. Yeah. He still stepped up. It's still an amazing story, but he was certainly not facing the most uh, terrifying of opponents last night. Devin Blackstone, how do you view Mullins' performance? Not only was it the, not the most terrifying, it was actually the t most terrible uh, <laughs> pass defense in the <laughs> NFL. They lead the league in, in um, allowed yards per attempt, which means nobody's ever around anybody that they're supposed to be covering. Um, they're 29th in touchdown surrendered through the air. Uh, so what you saw last night was par for the course for the Raiders' um, pass defense. So give credit to Mullins for hitting his open target. Targets, but I unfortunately have to give him an asterisk because of who he was playing against. Bill Plasky? Yeah, I really so much want to give credit to this guy. It was so, such a great story. Did you see him crying after the game? Then do it. You hear the stories about him. Give him credit. He, working out, piping. He was piping crying. I love this. I can't, yeah, you know, but it's the Raiders, and they didn't even okay, try. Okay, now your story's they, going they're the other tanking. way. They're, it was statistically the easiest a life for a quarterback in any game this season in, in the, for, for the entire league. So I just don't see how okay. you can I say, hear that, judge guys. anything but from But statistically, this. Friday is the easiest show to score points on around the horn, and you don't see me raining on your parade. You wouldn't know Woody it Page, me. you have more Friday wins than anybody in around the horn history. Should we put an asterisk on all those? No, not at all. And Sarah Thank starts you. out, I don't want to take anything away from him. And then you took stuff away from him. <laughs> then we got we got uh, Bill Plasky going, no offense, but that means you're about to fend somebody. Let me talk about Mullins. <laughs> As the only, only panelist here who's ever been to Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and covered games for Mississippi Southern, I'll tell you that his well, accomplishments. Southern Mississippi. So Southern Southern yeah, 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 USA. <laughs> uh, shut up. I'm talking here. Uh, he, he broke all of Brett Favre's records in Mississippi Southern. He set all oh the boy. conference okay. records while he was there. The guy does more preparation the last two years. He sits at home in the middle of crowd noise and calls out, marks out plays. Okay. I think that if you're in Canton, Ohio, dust off a shelf. He's yeah, coming I don't, there. I don't think that argument is getting to Canton, Ohio in any way. If you're going to say the names backwards, we might as well just score you backwards. Let's go on backwards. Let's go down a little bit. Thank you, Paige Woody. Let me ask you a question about this. John Gruden. He doubled down after the game on saying players are dying to play for the Raiders, that he's getting calls. How does that come off to you, Sarah Spain? Well, I believe that's collusion, right? If, if active players are calling and saying they want to come to his team. But beyond that, to me, I think I don't know that it's as much a shot as current players as just the reality that he's trying to create. If everyone's talking about how terrible things are in Oakland, if everyone's talking about what a terrible job he's doing, he needs to create another reality by putting it out there. Many people are saying mm. how great this team is. Many people are saying how much they want to play for me. And he's going to keep saying it, hoping that he can make it true. Okay, let's not speak down on another reality right now when we're launching in another reality on Monday. Let's prop that up a little bit. Bill Plaschke. No, Sarah, I, I disagree. I think it was a direct shot at his players. Instead of saying, we have the answer here, we can figure it out here, he's saying other players from other teams are going to come in and save us. That, that really demeans everyone in that locker room that's already dead. They already know they're tanking anyway. They all went out of there. I thought it was shameful that he said that, and I thought it affects his team. And, again, this goes in the whole thing that Gruden, clearly, this is not working. He's a, he was a great coach at one point, maybe. Now he's just a TV star acting like a coach. It's not working. And Paige Woody. Yes. Oh, thanks a lot. Uh, we'll check back, Bill, in the ninth year of his 10th year contract. Maybe he'll have this team turned around. I think, think we'll people be around are calling. <laughs> I think people are calling him, like me. 
hell, I can play there. And uh, <laughs> people that are 48 years old are calling him. But, and I think there are some players, yeah. like Des Bryant, are reaching out because they want to play in Vegas in a couple of years. But why would he make something up like that? I mean, that just does rain very hard on the players he has there. This is a team that's in total disarray. But it's typical of what he was doing when he left the NFL as a coach. I love when you guys say total disarray. Like, there's any other kind of disarray. Yes, and disarray is total. Uh, maybe the quote, players are dying to play for. Maybe it's just dead players want to play for him. <laughs>